sacrilege, I think is the word you're looking for, and yes, maybe it is. Circuit bending a Commodore Pet. Last year, I did a video on a Commodore Pet uh, using Pet Synth and playing it as a musical instrument. It's pretty good. Needless to say, I needed a little bit of help from some effects pedal friends. Recently, a big guy covered a brand new Commodore Pet motherboard by Time of Software, and uh, that's in this box. Let's go and have a look. So let's take a look what's inside of the box. There's one pink thing. There's two. There's a version, I think this one is, which is the one that the 8-bit guy covered in his video, and you can watch him putting that together. Uh, the links are in the description below. But the chances are you've seen it if you're watching this one. Obviously it does, it looks exactly the same as the 8-bit guy's one. Oh, this is awesome! However, if you've seen the 8-bit guy's video on it, he was saying that the keyboard was a little bit small. Well, Dave over at Time of Software has uh, done a little bit of an update. He's made a new keyboard overlay. How cool is that? Oh, that's pretty snazzy. So this is the version that I bought. I bought it because Dave suggested I should because it will make my Commodore Pet more reliable. I can save the old board from being on constantly and having this one inside it. So this is purpose built to be a literal drop-in replacement for the board inside the Commodore Pet. How cool is that? So the first thing I'm gonna do is put this one together. So I've now completed soldering the whole thing. All in all, it wasn't that bad. It actually took me about an hour and a half to put together. I reckon even if you're a beginner, if you do it carefully, uh, the instructions are very clear so you can get it put together in, you know, an evening maybe. So I'm just gonna go and put the chips in and then we'll give it a test. Oh yeah! Yes, so it is built. I haven't tested it yet, so maybe I've made a mistake. Woo! <laughs> oh, that looks awesome! The keyboard is a lot nicer now. There's actual caps on the front of it. Right, first let's try the self tester, uh, which is built in just to see if I've done everything correctly. That is all right. So it looks like it's working well. Doing exactly what it's supposed to do. If you look closely at the ROM chip right here, you'll see it says mini pet and pet synth. So if you flick up ROM bank three, it's going to hard load into pet synth. <gasps> yes. Oh yeah. So that one is built and working. Uh, we're going to look at it a little bit later, but first I want to look at the next one. This one is uh, the one that is purpose built to actually replace motherboards within the Commodore Pets. This 3032 is in desperate need of a little bit of love and attention, and I think this one will be the perfect one to make permanent as pets. First, let's have a quick peek on the inside. As you can see, it's looking a little bit sorry for itself and dusty, but it's fine because we're not going to be using this. This is the whole Commodore Pet, and we're going to be giving it a heart transplant to this, which is literally just going to sit at the back. This capacitor I'm going to replace for a slightly smaller one because this board, hello, hello, uses much less power than this, so the capacitor doesn't need to be as big. So we're going to start by taking this board out and uh, having a look and seeing what else needs to be done. When I turn this on, literally nothing happens. There's just a little blip to show that the monitor is working, but there's receiving nothing from here, so the problem is here. But we're not gonna look at fixing the problem in this video. We're literally just gonna swap the motherboard. How often can you literally just swap the motherboard in an old computer with a brand new one? That's just madness. Out she comes. So now it's just a shell of its former self. There's no computer in here whatsoever. And this is where the board's going to go, so I'm just gonna give it a quick bit of a clean. Balls actually line up. Oh, they do. They line up. That's it, it's in. <laughs> Keyboard, power, and monitor, make sure they're the right way around. Huh. 
I haven't turned it on yet, so this might just be a waste of time, but let's just have a look. Oh. Oh. <gasps> no way! Fudging heck! Oh, I love it when things are that easy. I bet there's something wrong. No way! It works! Oh, that is amazing! So we've got ourselves a fully working pet, and this one also has the pet synth mod. It's a bit quiet, so I need to put a jack on the back, but that's not the only modification we're gonna do. You see, this little board right here has made me feel a little bit less guilty about doing some modifications to a Commodore pet. I've always wanted to modify and circuit bend a Commodore pet, so I think this is a uh, prime time to do so. But first, let's go and put the other mini pet onto a literal breadboard and uh, play some games. And then we'll, do, we'll have a look at this one. There we go, lovely jubbly. It's nice and solid on a breadboard. The reason I put it on a breadboard was sort of like a homage back to old school homebrew uh, computers. Uh, because you look at them, they're usually on blocks of wood and I bet most of them were actually on your grandma's breadboard. Anyway, we're gonna play some games. We're gonna use the Future Was 8-bit SD card converter. Pop in an SD card, boom. And we'll uh, pop this in. Right, load. Nelson, a list. Yeah. It actually feels just like a 2001 chiclet keyboard, so it's not that bad at all. I don't mind those at all. Down. There we go. <gasps> yes! Oh, it's getting quick now. This game, Down, is actually a modern game on the Commodore PET. It's quite interesting to look up and I've lost. Ah, gotta get down, I've used too much fuel. Yes! It's a little bit sacrilegious using an Apple II monitor to kind of display the mini pet, but it's the only green screen that I have that sort of suits it, so I'm not complaining. So what's the circuit bend that I'm talking about? That's the good old fashioned circuit bend, the pitch control. This is when you adjust the clock speed of whatever you're trying to circuit bend to make it either go up in pitch or down in pitch. So you're slowing down the overall clock at which it functions and it goes really low and grainy and stuff. Well, it's actually quite easy in the mini pet and the CPU and a lot of the functions are actually ran by the same clock. The clock divider coming from the 16 megahertz, which is from the video at Megachip. So the 16 megahertz goes into this 393 binary counter and it comes out as one megahertz. So if we lift the leg of pin six up out of its socket, the computer won't receive any clock signal. That means we can send in whatever clock signal we want. Uh -huh. All right, first off, let's find the 16 megahertz clock, which should be on pin one of the binary counter. Oh yeah, look at that. If we go to pin six, one megahertz, look at that. I've got leg six popped up. I'm gonna pop it back in. The video is still getting the clock, but the actual computer is not getting any clock, hence why it's frozen. What happens if we put it in the two megahertz one? Oh, double speed! What about four megahertz? Have a listen to that one. Oh. So I have this, which is an LTC1799 precision oscillator that you'll find in uh, the Mega Machine, the Game Boy Mega Machine, that one is. And this one is basically acting as a replacement for the clock. You can watch that, watch that, and as I adjust this, you can see it slowing down and speeding up. So this is the lowest note on Pet Synth. Let's see if we can make it any lower. No! Oh, it doesn't want to go any lower. It's currently at about one megahertz, so I'm going to just take the pitch down. Right, let's make it playable by making it really slow. <laughs> it's so slow. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up to a ridiculously unplayable level. Oh, 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 ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, 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 it's still playable. Oh, 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 ah, oh. no, now it's crashed. So now I've actually got this clock plugged into the video clock. Right, let's take it down. Oh. Whew. Bringing it down. <laughs> now you can see it's going too quick. It's actually like breaking it up. And then you slow it down. Oh, that is awesome. Look at it slowly going into crazy town. Oh, I can't stop doing it. 
Let's go! So after doing those tests, I basically built this monstrosity right here, which is basically two of the LTC1799 chips that are wired up to take over from the binary counter chip that's right here. You can switch between using these modified CPU clocks, or you can go back to using just the binary counter. And this basically plugs straight into the motherboard. I don't wanna drill any holes into the Commodore PET, so I've built this that's gonna sit on the front of it, that's gonna be the control interface. Needless to say, it has control voltage in. Anyway, let's put this into the Commodore PET. Right, let's try and turn it on. <laughs> oh, yeah. How cool is that? So PetSynth doesn't come with any vibrato, hence why we add the control voltage into the clock of the actual whole computer to add vibrato. <laughs> if we speed up the vibrato and actually try and frequency modulate the clock of the computer. I don't know, it might work, it might work. Right, this is really quick now. So there we go, that's circuit bending, the Commodore PET. Links to the information on the brand new Commodore PET motherboards by Time of Software are below. And also there's a whole load of recording and stuff that you can download from this performance. So you can download it and use it as effects and stuff. That is available over on my Patreon, as well as the audio from the previous Commodore PET video. Support on the Patreon really helps with these sort of projects. There's lots of extra content over there, including vlogs and live streams and builders live streams. So please go and check that out over there if you're interested in supporting. I'm I'm doing an EP listening party over on my Twitch live stream tomorrow night, Sunday, 7 p.m. GMT. And the links to my Twitch are below also. Anyway, I've been Look Mum No Computer. If you like this, please subscribe and don't be scared to try it. Mmm.